World of Tennis and talking about the French Open, it started over the weekend and Stan Vavrinka crushed Andy Murray 6-1, 6-3, 6-2. And Andy Murray said the result would not be taken lightly and he would analyze where it all went wrong for him. And while recent Rome Masters finalist Diego Schwartzman continued his superb form by easing past Mia Mok. Kekmanovic, 6 love 6163. Six, and in the women's draw, 16 year old world number 51, Coco Golf, sent ninth seeded Joanna Conta packing, and 40 year old veteran and seven time Grand Slam champion Venus Williams, uh, meanwhile, suffered a 6 4 6 4 loss to unseeded Slovakia and Anna Karolina Schmedlova. And I uh, will be having Adeze Michael join us uh, via phone to speak on the French Open and, of course, the exciting moments in that competition. The French Open has started, and already we've seen upsets in the competition. Definitely, Andy Murray with another early round exit. Mm. Um, look, a lot of things are going wrong for him in his camp. First of all, I've heard rumors that there's unrest between him and his coaches, and this is like the second time in a number of years. So something is wrong. He needs to go back to the drawing board and sort things out behind the camera. All right, sorting things out behind the camera, and of course, coming back to play strong in the world of tennis. But we have Adeze Michael joining us all the way from Abia. Good to have you with us, Adeze. Good morning, Doka. I feel good to join you this morning. Yeah, thank you very much for joining up. And uh, let's talk about the French Open now. What will be your take so far since the competition started amidst the whole fear of uh, COVID-19? It has kick-started and already we're seeing upsets. Hello, good morning, Duka. Yeah, can, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me clearly? Yeah, I can hear you clearly now. Yeah, so I said, what will be your take so far for the competition that kick-started over the weekend? Talking about the French Open, already we're seeing upsets in that one. Yeah, um, not a, a good day for the likes of Andy Murray. A frustrating night it was for him. You can agree with me that Andy Murray of 2012, uh, 2016, where he won the Olympic gold medal, he won the Wimbledon that time, is not the Andy Murray we're having in 2020. Yes, he's had um, injury issues, hip uh, surgery, from one surgery to the other. But I, I see a man that has lost motivation. I see a man that has lost confidence. Just look at that performance last night. He struggled to, you know, catch up with the intensity and tempo of uh, his opponent, Stan Varinka. His serves were quite poor. I mean, he, this is not Andy Murray, we know. He has tried to come back into the game. He's gotten involved in some ATP tours, Brisbane International, got involved with the, in the Western and Southern Open Conference just to get match fitness. But unfortunately, when he gets to action, it's just uh, Andy Murray of, I don't know, it's just a, a very frustrating time for this man. And I think maybe the clock is gradually ticking to midnight for Andy Murray. Mm. Yeah, so like, like you said, lastly, is it just for him to call it quits with the game of tennis or he should take time off and come back stronger? At the age of 33, you will look at his counterpart, his, his rivals in uh, Rafael Nadal, Roger Federal, and say, why would I quit at the age of 33? I, I can go push, I can fight. But it's all about his decision. If his body can carry him, he should try. But if his body can no longer carry him, I, I think I suggest Andy Murray should just quit. But you know these tennis players, they don't throw in the towel easily. They have a way of fighting back. They want to prove to the world that they are still in it. But I think we have to keep our fingers crossed. Although critics have already stuck the knife into him by accepting a wild card, if you look at some of his uh, tourneys he's involved in, he comes in as a wild card. So some persons feel, feel he should stay away so that the wild card can, uh, uh, the young players now can benefit from the wild card. All right, uh, let's talk about the female side now. Uh, if uh, Murray is just 33 and still trying to push hard to get his game going, there's also Venus Williams, who is 40, and some fans are saying that she's just called it quits already uh, because nothing is going well for her in the game of tennis. Just call it quits and relax, let her sister um, take over. Are you of the same opinion? Well, for Venus Williams, it's obvious. I mean, it's clear to everyone, to herself, her family, that she has since passed her prime. The former Grand Slam winner, when she gets on to tournament these days, she doesn't pass the, you know, the first round. Recently, it was Coco Golf, the 16-year-old uh, sensation that knocked her off. In the U.S. Open, she got crashed, uh, she crashed out in the first round. Maybe for her, it's just for the appearance fee. You know, any tournament or any uh, major you appear, you have some money. 
to go home with. So for her, baby, it's time for her to smile to the bank. But I feel she should probably call it quit officially and then look towards mentoring younger girls coming up in the world of tennis. Yeah, and uh, for Coco Golf, already she has started on a high and she wants to go all the way. Yes, another shocking result uh, because Joanna Conta, we recall vividly last year, she got to this tournament semi final, mm. but to get knocked out by a teenage sensation. I didn't see that one coming, it's quite surprising. But for Coco Golf, the signs are there. I mean, if you look at the way she serves, if you look at the way she returns herself also, you realize that she may just be the next big thing in the world of tennis, probably taking over from the likes of Serena Williams and, of course, Venus Williams. I think she's done great things for herself at the age of 16, playing with, you know, big names already. If she can continue with this uh, performance, if she can, you know, add one or two consistencies and, of course, concentration to her game, I think she could just take the world of tennis by storm. All right, thank you very much, Adeze, for joining us. I'm sure there are a whole lot of stories to talk about, but our time will not permit us. But once again, thank you very much. Always a pleasure. All right, have a great day and continue to stay safe out there.